Hi guys, uh, welcome back. This is uh, part two of our 6x4 garden tractor build. If you're just tuning in and haven't seen the first one, go back and watch that because otherwise you're not going to have any idea of what we're doing here. But uh, if you've already seen the first one, let's continue with uh, doing our transaxle union assembly part. This is the old deck here, and uh, we're going to use the uh, spindle pulleys to uh, mount our, our two transaxles together. And uh, I think we can repurpose these, and uh, we'll just start by drilling out the inside here. Both of our pulleys are uh, drilled out, and uh, originally the idea was is to just kind of stack them on top. And, and so the idea was to just kind of weld the bottom edge and have it flat, but the issue that we're running into is that this sits probably a quarter inch below this, so when this belt comes, it hits the top edge here. So we're going to have to come up with a different way of mounting these. We might end up just taking uh, some like quarter inch spacers and lifting it up and then welding that in. So let's, uh, let's pop these pulleys off and uh, we'll, uh, we'll try to figure out a way to mount these on. Well, the way that we came up with to modify these pulleys to fit the other pulley is we cut some little flat stock pieces out of the old uh, tail end of the, the old one and then we just set these around kind of like a star pattern and then we weld here and here all the way around grind it flat and then take our pulley center it you know on the outside here and and then weld here and here and this is what we end up no. still hot but uh this is what we end up with is uh, a double stack pulley and uh it has enough clearance to get our belt around without hitting this bottom edge here not a whole lot of clearance but just enough to make it work so all right so we have our two modified pulleys uh installed and um what we did is just to make sure that we have clearance we ended up taking an old 5 8 belt and just we're gonna have to get a new one anyways because this one's too short but um just to kind of run it through where it's going to lay and make sure that we're not hitting any of the bars or anything and that we have plenty of clearance. And also this gives us a dimension to order a longer belt from. What did this end up coming out to? We needed about two and a quarter extra inches and uh, the closest belt size to that was 45 or 40, 54 and a half. So we'll end up going with a 55. And then uh, use this as our idler. But until the get belt gets here, um, we can start on our linkage. And what we did is just made some tabs out of uh, one of the other brackets on the, uh, the spare chassis. So we have one on each steering arm. And then we're going to take a linkage bar and run that in between each two. So this bar here I end up having to extend going up as well as move this bracket up and eh, it's about an inch higher just so we weren't hitting our belt on there. But at this point we're ready to weld these brackets onto this bar. So here we have our linkage, which is one of the 
the other bars off the, the donor tractor again. And uh, what we did is just shortened it so that this here will line up into that hole up front. And that should line up in the back. And luckily it's threaded because I cut it slightly too short. But that way we should be able to get some adjustment out of it as well. So now when we move that front one, the back one should shift. Which it is not. Well, we might have to play around with that and get some of the slop out of it. Because right now the front one is is shifting, but it doesn't move the back one enough. So we figured out why our linkage was not shifting back here, and uh, there's this old spring that keeps tension on this forward, and it just kind of retired. So we took a spring off the donor mower and just ran it underneath this post, and then drilled a hole and put a bolt. And uh, that keeps enough tension forward that uh, when you shift the front lever, this one shifts, takes the slop out of it. Our, uh, our other issue that we end up having is uh, uh, our battery no longer fits in here because we have this linkage bar and this top stack pulley running where the battery used to sit, so that doesn't fit in there anymore. So what we did is cut up some of the old bracketry off the donor mower again and just made this kind of like T bracket which will then bolt in here and then this tray, the original battery tray will just be able to slide in there and then we'll put our battery. Then uh, the issue was cable length so uh, we ended up taking off the donor motor, the starter cable, and tied it in back here, and the negative should be long enough to tie in, but, so, that's how we solve that issue. It's the, the next morning. Uh, turns out Amazon wanted to use their, their full window of delivery and at 9.50 something last night, you get an email saying, oh, your package has been delivered. So our belt finally came in and uh, I didn't realize that I ordered a, uh, like a toothed belt, but hopefully it should still work just a fine. But uh, yeah. Let's uh, bring it in here and uh, I'll throw it in. So the, the belt is a bit tight, um, hopefully it stretches. Uh, I don't think at this point we need to put the tensioner on because uh, that is not slipping. But uh, we are hitting on this bar over here just slightly. Maybe it'll self clearance, we'll see. Look our battery back up here. Try and drop in our battery. Uh, let's fire this up and uh, 
see if it works. seems to work so uh, you'll notice that like only one tire on each on each axle spins and that's because it's an open differential a little bit of information on these these trans axles is they're sold as six seven five speeds and all they're they're all exactly the same there actually is no speed uh, it's just forward, neutral, and reverse. But what they did is, when MTD started making these, they took a page from Spinal Tap and uh, just ended up having five, six, or seven positions. Because really it runs like a, uh, like a snowmobile, where it has like, dual clutches that open and close, which that changes your gearing. And then this lever here just holds that at different tension levels. So, that being said, let's uh, let's take this guy out for a test drive. See how it actually does. <laughs> much better than expected and uh, yeah so far uh, you know a couple of hiccups along the way but and it uh, it works well uh, it's still shifting in the between the link it's just sometimes kind of tricky but these things kind of were that way even even new so make sure you like and subscribe and uh, the next episode on this uh, we're going to start working on the body, getting the hood on, and uh, fabricating a different metal rear end for, for the body there. But until next time, take care.